Welcome back to another video. Today is a Premiere Pro tutorial that is guaranteed to help speed up your workflow. Let's get into it. If you're like me, often when I'm creating for projects now, I not only create in a standard 16 by nine, but the client will also ask to convert this into a vertical format or nine by 16 version. And to do this, we'd often have to duplicate the sequence. Then we would have to change the sequence settings to make it a vertical format. Then from there, we'd have to manually go and tweak every single clip to ensure that the subject was in frame and remained in frame, especially if you had keyframes. That is of course, until now. In the latest version of Premiere, Adobe have included a feature called auto reframing, which makes this process so much easier and faster for us video editors. This feature uses Adobe's AI technology where it is able to find your subject, reframe them into the center, and if your shot is moving, to also follow the subject and keyframe this to ensure they are in the center of your frame. Now let's jump into Premiere and let me show you how easy this effect is by literally dragging and dropping into your sequence. All right, so once we're in Premiere, I have our horizontal sequence set up, ready to go, and again, I just have a couple of clips here that is just stock footage from Artlist, which is shot in Brisbane by Brad Day, a super talented Brisbane-based cinematographer who does a lot of stuff for Artlist. Um, we've just got this little running sequence here, which I think being able to track this subject and keep it is gonna really have the uh, features cut out for it to be able to keep her in the center of the frame. And all we're gonna do is hit Command A on our sequence, highlighting all of our clips. We're gonna come over and create a new sequence now, file, new sequence. Uh, I've got a custom preset that I've made that already has a vertical sequence, but just set up a 1080 by 1920 vertical sequence. And I'm gonna call this for the sake of tutorial, tutorial sequence 2.0, hit okay. All we're gonna do now is hit Command V or paste our clips into this new sequence. As you can see, they are also shot in HD, so we're gonna have to zoom in on these, and as you can see, our subject doesn't remain centered in front of the frame. And all we're gonna do while all of these clips are still highlighted there, I'm gonna come over to our effects tab. We're going to search for a effect called reframe. There it is there, auto reframe, and we're gonna drop that on to our clips and then all we're gonna do is come over to each individual clip and hit analyze click analyze bam 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 we're gonna wait until they're done and then as you can see now they are scaled and they will keep our subject perfectly in the center of the frame which like how good does that look that looks amazing this one here, keeping her running, tracking her, keeping her perfectly in the center, which looks great. Go through into our next shot here, where she's running and we're slowly tracking forward. Looks great, keeping her in the frame. And of course, this one where we orbit around her, it looks phenomenal, like really, really good. You could easily export that out now, ready to go for social media. There we go, for those clips, it's done a pretty good job of literally reframing those and keeping the subject in the center of the frame. If you have a little bit of difficulty where the movement is going a little bit too slow or fast, all you have to do is coming back over into our project, select the clip you're having an issue with, head over to the effect controls, and under the motion tracking, you can actually change if you want it to track slower motion motion or faster motion. For example, now we can see it's tracking her slower, so it's gonna get her a little bit out of frame. If we change that to faster motion, it's gonna track her a little bit faster. But I think uh, it's done a pretty good job and I think we're just gonna put it back to default because pretty much nailed it in the default. So there we go. So there you have it, that is literally it. That is how easy it is, just a drag and drop and just a slight little tweaks on your clips, but super game changer tool. If you found value out of this video, make sure if you haven't already, subscribe. And of course, until next time, stay golden.